Yeah, so I woke up this morning and my room smelled like onions. I had no idea why. <laughs> yeah, we got some sliced up halved onions just on my desk. This is something uh, my mom likes to do uh, to keep the bad feng shui from happening. No, just kidding. It doesn't have anything to do with feng shui. It's it's supposed to get rid of the smell of uh, what's happening over there, over yonder. Look at this thing. It's on there already, but it still had some of that paint residue smell. And apparently onions are supposed to help. So yeah, my room is onions right now. Where am I supposed to look? Oh, okay, I, I, yeah, <laughs> okay. Hey, you guys, you've been asking for a long time for me to do this kind of stuff. I, I apologize. There really is no excuse, I'm sorry. I've just been like trying to see what kind of content you guys like, coming up with ideas and really doing a struggle sometimes. I'm like, hmm, man, if only there was like a group of people that watch the stuff I post telling me what else they want to watch. If only it was that easy to just have a group of people I can listen to, to cater my <laughs> material and uploads towards. And you guys are like, we want uh, fish room vlogs. We want fish vlogs. And I'm still over here like, I, I wonder, Friday Fix? Friday Fix. We want fish vlogs. Vlog? your fish tanks. OMFT, one minute fish tank. Keep it short and simple, right? OMFT. Hey, hey, we want fish vlogs. Anyway, that's getting real old real quick. If you can't, if you can't already tell, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm, I'm not much of a vlogger, but we're gonna get it started. You know what, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. I tried it outdoors at first. We went to the beach, took you guys to the beach you guys to my favorite spot tried to make a tide pool it didn't work because the ocean was like hey anyways this is uh, pretty immediately after i finished the cube garden how do i the cube garden ba -ba -um. can't really still can't really see it okay the ada dream tank that i always had but what are we doing today today let me show you why in the world am i so zoomed in how do i oh my gosh kill me yeah, you see this right here? This does not look Gucci. Also, um, that's my bed. I haven't made it. I don't usually make my bed. That's not the issue here. Um, what the issue here is, bro, Rosé is still in this. Look at all the debris down here, man. I have not been doing my keep up. And if some of you guys remember, there are supposed to be two stones here. Two Seiru stones. I guess where they are now. Yup, they're in this uh, cube garden. Man, this cost a fortune, okay? And all the plants in here, all the substrate, all the everything in here, everything cost me a small fortune. I ain't about to grab more rocks and buy it with my wallet, okay? So this is that main piece right here. I love the little textures going on in there. But this piece, I dropped from my balcony like three times and it shattered uh, into little pieces. And by the way, yes, I did it on purpose, of course. This is, it's called aquascaping homies. It, <laughs> basically, to be a successful aquascaper, you gotta look like a crazy person, dropping rocks from your balcony three times in a row. The neighbors think I'm absolutely bonkers. The first time you'd think I did it by accident, but I do it another two times and then I go pick up the pieces in my driveway. That is insane. That's insanity. Anyway, we're off topic. Back. Oh, that was, that was not bad. Hey, Rose, how you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna rescue you. So Rose, I'm taking her and her little buddy over there, her little buddy pal Ramshorn guy. <laughs> I'm so annoying. Wow. Taking her. She's still afraid of my finger for some. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Into this tank. Did you guys like that transition? By the way, that's 100% unedited. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can tell. So we're putting this. We're putting rosé into this tank. Um, it's beautiful, it's still nice and lush. I took some of the plants out and put it in the cube garden.
because everything goes in the cube garden. I also took some of the plants from the Fluvo 12G uh, Forest of Crips. Uh, you can see that there's a chunk of Anubius missing. <laughs> that chunk is in the back there. And a lot of crypts. I took out a lot of crypts, except it's still quite a forest in there. Those are the crypts I grew immersed. Uh, who knew? Who knew, man? Growing stuff immersed can make a ton of difference. Just, just give me as many runners as I needed to just escape anything I want in the future. Highly recommend growing crypts immersed. They love it. Anyway, yeah, there is a mono shrimp in here and quite a few cherries as well. So I'm not sure how Rosé is going to feel about that. She's probably going to love it. The shrimp are probably going to hate it. And that's going to be that. Why am I moving Rosé? Because I am planning a massive rescape of this tank. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Maybe you guys can suggest to me what I should do. We can try a Iwagumi scape. We can try a... We can try a Iwagumi scape. Anyway, what's the correct amount of time that I need my face to be in these vlogs? Because I felt like that was just a lot of talking and not as much FaceTime, you know? I think vlogs are there for people to look at your face. People are always just holding stuff up and going like, uh, hi, uh, Kimo Chidas. I'm such a, why am I so annoying? This is what you guys asked for, okay? This is, this is my life now, and it's your life now as well. That's right. Yeah, the, the fish room, fish corner looks a mess right now. I can show you guys, let me turn the camera around. It's really quite a mess over here, honestly. Um, what am I doing? Okay, there we go. Uh, look at this little uh, vivarium uh, enclosed ecosphere sort of thing. Um, I think the shrimp in here is still alive. Yep. We got Sven chilling over here. Sven's doing a cool chill. We have Alfred in here, the pond snail. And we also trapped a ram's horn in here by accident, I think. So those are still alive. So everything's popping. This should, this video should have come out before this vlog. So if you're, if you're finding this out for the first time, I'm sorry. I don't know what the heck I'm doing on YouTube. This is looking spectacular, except look at this. Number one, we got bacteria outbreak on the wood, which I definitely knew was coming. Look at this, it's wild. It's we wilding out here, bros. Okay, but it's gonna take care of itself. It's pretty much like new wood syndrome. Not morning wood, just new wood. Oh, uh, the hydrocado leucocephala looks amazing back there. It's very fast at growing. I highly recommend this plant to add some texture into your tank as well as the hygro hygrophila pinata pinatifida. <laughs> I'm not Italian for the last time. We got some from the one two three grow. That's it right there. It's a little darker. It's a little doing a little struggle and we got some from April's aquarium. Awesome aquarium you guys should visit and it's doing pretty well. It's looking green. We got the pearl weed but yeah the, the other issue is look at this when I attached using the uh, super glue, the Gorilla super glue, I attached some of the uh, not Amato, uh, Java fern, and the Java fern is looking pretty sheepish. It's looking pretty, pretty not pretty. Let's just put it that way. Where else can I get a? Yeah, even in here, like you can see some of the white stuff. That's the glue reacting with the water but I'm gonna give it a trim once it grows out a little bit more and hopefully it'll lushen up. Hopefully it'll grow green and lush and cover that ugly white stuff up. But I'm by far super excited for this hydrocoddle and I hope I can actually grow it immersed, like it, it'll naturally immerse itself and be okay. My room is kind of dry, so you can see the Anubius barteri is definitely doing a struggle being immersed. Um, this one came from the Forest of Crips 12G, and it was already shooting out of here. It found its way up this little room and started to rot. Serves you right, buddy, trying to escape my tank. Not gonna happen. And of course, we got the Flourish, we got Beta Basics, we got some uh, Stratum left over, just in case, you know, more Stratum over there. We got Excel, our secret weapon against algae in this tank. I don't know how it's gonna go. I dosed it once yesterday, haven't dosed it again because I'm trying to find a dropper bottle so I can dose very little but very quickly because right now I have to 
unscrew this cap and pour it out and I don't know, it's messy. And then behind the tank is all, yeah, so I just hide the ugliness. I've got some aquascaping tools back here, all the wires and stuff and the buckets. It's all looking kind of, kind of wild out there. We got some timers. Of course, all my lights are on timers. You already know. I suggest you get your lights on timers as well, as I always say. Okay, so we got to take care of some of this uh, floaty plants, usually just Salvinia here. We're gonna have to move it to the side for now. We're gonna do this corner. And this is all in preparation to put in the, this guy that Fishman made me. And it makes it very easy to feed my betta fish. I love it so, so much. It floats just like that. Wow, magic. How does it do it? I don't know, don't ask me, ask Fishman. I have no idea. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is basically bait my bed a little bit and trick her and lose all the trust that I've uh, built with her in the past few months. So that's gonna be fun. Look, it's food. Look, yeah. Yes, it's food, yes. Look, there's food in here, there's food in here. Go in here. Yeah, okay, okay, good. What? Oh, she's not that stupid. Maybe I just didn't do it well. I don't want duckweed. Get out of here. Okay, come on, Rose. Ain't nobody got time for your for your little games. Get in here, Rose. Yeah, that's good. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. <laughs> I am evil, and there's a piece of hair in there. I am disgusting. Okay, so I don't want to keep her in this net for too long, and also the parameters and temperature in both tanks are pretty much the same. We're keeping it at room temperature because it's summer right now. We don't want it too hot. So we're just going to do a little transfer roux and hope for the best. If she dies, I'm going to become a TikToker because that's what they do. First Rapashi hates me, now Rosé is going to hate me, everyone's going to hate me. She's never going to take food from my finger again. I should have mentally prepared myself for this. She's like, what in the world? Where, where am I? How'd I get here, bruh? Why you put me in here? Wait, this looks beautiful. Thanks, Chris. I love you, Chris. Said no one ever, look, she, she's gonna flee like right now. She's gonna be like, oh, you, you betrayed me. Oh, she's not, wow, she's not even acknowledging me. <laughs> That's a new level of hatred. She doesn't even acknowledge me anymore. Well, hope you're happy. I thought, you know, you would enjoy a better life in here. And if you actually can tolerate the shrimp, then you would have more friends than just that ram's horn snail I gave you. This is good though, she's immediately curious and uh, she's being adventurous and discovering things. That means she is not shocked at all. If she was shocked, she would be lying on the ground right here gasping for air or looking very traumatized. When really in this situation, I'm the only one traumatized. Okay, let me take this off the tripod. Ah, the life of a vlogger. She also really likes to wedge herself in dense vegetation. That's also why I want her in here now. Look, she's, she's doing it as we speak. She's just trying to wedge herself. Brown, 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 brown. Oh, she's like, hey, the feeding ring. This is familiar. This is familiar. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll reward you with some food. Okay, come on, bucko. You got this. Remember this? Remember this, yum yum? Yeah, come on. That's a good girl. Yeah, dad, you're a good girl. You still look good girl. There we go. She seems to be actually quite happy in here. She's very intrigued by all the new things and she still has the appetite. So it's like she didn't even move. Her body doesn't seem like it has experienced anything except for a change in scenery, which is the perfect way to introduce a fish. And she's not just endlessly hunting shrimp. So I think this might actually have a chance. She might actually be able to stay in here. Okay, we're gonna put the light back where it belongs, right over here. Amazing night crew light, by the way. Super dependable, been using it for a while, and look, it just grows plants. It just does it, and it's super cheap. Probably the cheapest light on the market. Got two of the night crews up here, lighting this big boy, and the results are simply stunning. These two, they're both like $13 Canadian each. This one, probably around 20 bucks Canadian. Still pretty great. As for this tank, I might 
leave it. I might take it down. I'm not sure yet. There's some floaters and Java moss in there. There's still that ram's horn snail somewhere in there. This is a little session I like to call, I'm not sure what to do anymore, so I'm gonna play the guitar. We can work on the name as this series progresses. First episode of Fish Tank Vlogs I have no idea what I'm doing And that's okay cause I moved Rosé Into her new tank, she's gonna kill all my shrimp I hope not R-O-S-W Oh, what in the world? I just have random Tropica lying around. I think I forgot to throw it away after escaping this one. If you guys are wondering, all of the lights right now are set to run for eight hours a day, and uh, that's where they are balanced at, at least for, for these two. Um, probably this one, and this is not so balanced yet because we, we still don't know what the heck is gonna happen with it because it's a few days old. Also, the cycle has started. I've put in some fish flakes for it to dissolve in here and introduce the ammonia and nitrite and then nitrate, hopefully, because I've also put some of the bacteria from this little filter. Um, it had some of the ceramic and I put it into the whisper. Beneficial bacteria colony is happening in there. Let's, let's just take a look, actually. Uh-huh. And we got some ceramic down there. It's a little too dark to see, but yeah. I might put in more later. And you can control the amount of flow with that little red knob. And it is generally pretty quiet and is very cheap as well, so I'm glad for this purchase. I did have a few filters lying around, but they were getting pretty old and they were definitely quite loud. And since this is in my bedroom and not outside in a living room, and I sleep here, I can't, I'm a really light sleeper, so I definitely need my stuff to be quite quiet. And it's quiet enough for me to sleep. So yes, you can have a lot of fish tanks in your bedroom and not, you know, go crazy at night. This is the Gorilla Glue I used for this, these ugly features. Um, however, like I said, hopefully they get covered by new growth. And what you want to use is the uh, clear sort of gel, not the actual glue. Uh, make sure that in the description it says it is a gel and not glue. I learned that a little bit from Girl Talks Fish. If you don't know their channel, go check them out. They're super useful, uh, helpful guys and they make really just quality content. Way better than mine, so if you're watching my channel already, you have no excuse. And yeah, I didn't actually need to open this bag and I didn't even need to dig into my reservoir of, of fluval stratum because two bags of Tropica actually covered the whole bottom pretty well. I was very impressed. It didn't look like it was gonna cover the whole bottom of this 20 gallon cube garden, and but it did, so it's perfect. And the cube garden is the 60P. I'm not exactly sure what the 60P stands for. It, I mean, it is 60 in length, so that's that might be what it's meant to stand for. But I love this, ADA, and it contrasts with the black background so well, the black substrate. Always go with a black substrate when you're going ADA. Oh man, this craftsmanship is amazing, it's great. And almost forgot, the Java Fern window loaf, I think. It's so nice, the Trident Java Fern, it's amazing, I love it. So yeah, the cycle is going on. It's not gonna be complete for quite a while, I think. I'm gonna keep an eye on it with some tests. And as soon as it is ready, I'm gonna be stocking it with, I'm not sure yet, actually. Some of you have been suggesting Ember Tetris. I put up that poll or that suggestion thing on YouTube and the, like the community tab, and you guys gave me a lot, a variety of interesting options to choose from, but most prevalently, I saw Ember Tetra as the main schooling fish because I was asking for a schooling fish because at the time I was sure I was going to put a school of quarries and maybe a, uh, a Pistogramma cagatoides. Um, I'm not sure if that's still the case, but I really am leaning towards Ember Tetras. And also just checking the aquariums in my area, there was a lot of Ember Tetras for sale. So they're very common in my area right now. I don't know if that's going to be the case when 
this thing actually gets cycled. I hope they'll still be around, but you never really know. What I feel like is really a loss is all this biofilm on the wood because that can really just be used up and eaten by shrimp. But it's way too early to put shrimp in here because it's not cycled. But shrimp are gonna love that. They're just gonna go to town. Can you imagine just a mono shrimp just grazing on that? Or cherry shrimp? Any shrimp, really. Another thing about this tank though, which is a little bit more hassly, is yes, I'm keeping it completely open and I'm gonna try to not put floaters, which means it's gonna evaporate even faster than this. I sometimes have to fill up daily, um, just, you know, with a little, this thing. I just, why am I holding it like that? That's weird. Uh, let's see, okay, yeah. <laughs> I go like this and fill the water up. Um, and it's actually not that hassly on a daily basis. It kind of, it's kind of relaxing. But for this, I mean, it's gonna take a long time for me to actually fill up. And if I do it every day, you know, that time adds up. So if you're doing an open, completely open tank, you gotta be prepared for that. But I definitely want to do a complete open tank because I was really looking for a wood piece that would jut out of the tank so that it's not completely submerged, so that there is some sort of feature that comes out of the water. I've been meaning to do this sort of tank for a while. And you can see that I did try it with this. I put a wood piece that just so happened to float a little bit, um, but you know, it's not as aesthetically pleasing and I mean, it's a start, yeah. Well guys, that's it for my first fish room tour, vlog sort of, official sort of thing for now. Um, there's gonna be so many more updates to come. There's gonna be more fish added to my little fish room. There will be more tanks and including the re uh, rescape of the one that Rose was in that I showed you guys today. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. So if you have suggestions, definitely feel free to leave them in the comments below and just, you know, leave whatever comments you want. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe if you love this video. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet. Oh,